I'm continuing to troubleshoot the problem code I pulled up on this car, which said it was an air fuel metering problem. And I thought an intelligent thing to do would be to pull the spark plugs. And so I pulled them after driving about 30 miles. And let's see what we got. You can see that it's running lean. And it's also very worn out. It's melted, actually. And so that could be a fuel filter problem. And so I checked the fuel filter. It looks like it's the original fuel filter on the car. You're supposed to replace it every 30,000 miles. I also decided to replace the spark plug wires because you can see that they're cut there. And they also had various abrasion problems with them and they were cracked approximately here. So it's about time. Let's take a look at that. Fuel filter is very way in the back here. So I'm going to pull that off now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, release the pressure on the fuel system. So I'm going to pull out the fuse. It's labeled right on the cover what it is. That one goes to the fuel pump. I'm going to start the car, let it die. Release the fuel pressure now. You're going to want to start by pulling off the vacuum hoses off here. There's just a clip that holds it on. Another vacuum hose here that just pinches together and pulls off the brake booster. Then pull the air filter tube out of the way. And the filter itself, you can see here, is held on by a tubing clamp. You don't need to remove the bracket. You need, do need to pull off the bottom uh, fuel hose before you can pull it out of there. See, once it's loose, grab and pull it out. Put a pan underneath there, which I've already done. The clip just pulls right out. That secures both the top and the lower fuel hoses. If you break it, you're going to have to get another one. You just put a screwdriver in between there and pull back. And then the top of the hose should come right off. And there you go. Alright, you can see, it looks like the original Motocraft filter is in there. So, if I had a fuel pressure tester, I could check it, but I'm pretty confident that this is the problem. There you go. So replacing the fuel filter solved my P1131. If you found that video helpful, I have many other videos on the Ford Escort, including testing your oxygen sensor, troubleshooting your transmission, replacing the steering rack bushings. Additionally, I have a video on chemically dissolving a broken drill bit in non-ferrous metals.